The next sentence that we have is this word plus Okay? Because addition has got a symbol. 
Yes. But not in all cases. Sometimes you can be written in this format. Okay? Mm. And you can just put, like you say, how many all together in the set of? Oh, but you need to show the answer. Yeah. Okay? Because even in math, try and avoid a situation where you're marking the answer only. Mm. Okay? What you need to do is you need to ensure that you are marking because the answer should either half or at least one half. Mm. What you're concentrating on is the process of the working out of the question. Is it clear? Mm. So always this mark not only for the answer, but for laying out, even laying out, and, and, and in, in some schools I see this election, they're now also doing the laying out. How they, how they lay out the, the working. Yeah. And the working itself. And then the answer. Okay? Because what you find is that you can find that someone can lay out the question incorrectly laid out. So they can know how to lay it out, but don't know how to then do the working. Yeah. And then maybe the answer will be wrong. So the layout will be correct. Yeah. The working could be correct. But the answer is wrong. <laughs> Are you understanding? Are you understanding the process? Yes. And that is the process that you have to teach. Okay? No, but was just about this is how you work it out. Why do you spend your own data? No. The process is there. And the marks should be given for working. Okay? So when you give some which makes this is three marks, three marks, or two marks. Okay? And then also what you can do is in the thing that is the wrong. If they did have used a, a formula that you have not given, okay, you can still award because there is no creativity, because the child can come up with a different method than yours, but still leads to the same what? And if they can explain and if you can prove that the answer is correct, it is fine. So don't be too strict about use this method. You give them two, three options, two, three different ways of, of answering. Don't give them one. Then they choose which one is easier according to their conviction and to their understanding. Don't just say, don't just say, when we're adding, this is how we do it. Give them two, three options. Yeah. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So counting backwards, it's minus. Counting forward, plus. Okay? Um, how many, how many more? Uh, how many that adding? Some is adding. How many more is adding? More than is adding. Next time is subtract. How many are there to subtract? Subtract is subtract sign. Okay? Take away is subtract sign. Difference is subtract sign. Reduce is subtract sign. Count back and say this one. And we also go to minus is also used. That's another one. Okay? Minus. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Uh, equal is plus the equal plus there. Okay? Any questions on this part? Now, what I would like you to do is I would like you to come and answer this question. Show me the world in the and explain your method. And then another way to then show you the different types of principles you use when you are working out at the shape Okay? That you need to teach your life. Don't speak the name of the principle. Just practice, demonstrate the principle. Are you understanding? You are identifying the name of the principle for your level. Demonstrating. Demonstrating the method. Knowing the name of the principle, that is your work. That is the good method. Okay? Because then I might ask, why did you choose this method? Then you can say, according to this, according to everything, if this principle is called this, and it helps in, in, uh, in helping to, to, uh, to develop the concept quicker. Okay? What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, to apply the theory to the practice, okay? Question one. Yes, question one. John bought in the mm -hmm. first pencil and two words. How many ideas did that put together? Mm -hmm. So, his question is addition. Yes? Yeah. How yeah. many? Yes. And I think you know me maybe two methods that you would you would try and teach that. Okay. Or a, a different maybe two types of answers that you would do. Okay. Yes. I think I will say 
symbol, then second I will use this new dot dot. Then move, and So when they are all the order of the, the, the units, yeah. the numbers, that you are not to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then, zero. They so so have to order the place to the Yes. Yeah. Okay. Zero plus five D, five D, five plus two, seven D. Then one I, I can also tell them that there is zero, mm -hmm. zero. Yes. so that they can understand. Yes, yes. yes. and I think sometimes it's better to prove that there is nothing yes. that is yes. this. Yeah. So one that, plus zero plus zero is equal to one. Yes. Yeah. And then what's the other one should be put units and take it. Yeah. 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 So I want 
she to always have the space for her to write and she's counting that. Mm -hmm. So you can, what you're simply trying to do is that the first thing that you're trying to teach is to ensure that each symbol mm -hmm. has got that mm -hmm. And you're also teaching the process they are 10, yeah? Now we are moving to 11. Okay? Because even if you might have a child who says 10, mm -hmm. and who says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But if there is anything wrong with it, they say 10, they say 5, but they cannot combine the two in order to be clear. Mm -hmm. Are you understanding? Mm -hmm. So they are teaching the process that it is a continuation mm -hmm. from here. Mm -hmm. It's now class, it starts with 10. Mm -hmm. Can you see the process? I'm already teaching the process. Mm -hmm. From here, these are 10. Mm -hmm. It now goes to 11. Mm -hmm. Okay? Class. Then we take it together from 13, 14, 15. So we need to think that although the book has told us this method, but we have extended it. <laughs> okay? We are extending it to teach a language in the same way. Okay? That's why I think that, hey, if we can't do theory, we can create our own model if we review and always review what we're giving to another. Okay? So here, can you see? So the next number, we're just doing the answer. So what is the next number? So you can start off with this process. Okay? And each one, two, three, four. Each one is their different number. Mm -hmm. Then this process, this is now the process. This is 10. What is the next number after? It's 11. And then we start here. We start counting from the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay? So our level starts here. Going down or making sure that each, each, each thing is counting. Because it doesn't matter. You still remember that theory. It doesn't matter. Don't try to teach them about to come from left to right, right to left. All they need to do is they need to know that each item should be counted. It does not matter in what order. So even if they say one here, yeah, then the right, two, then the right, three, then the right, four, then the right, right. As long as all the symbols are what? As a number. You've understood. So then. And then our level is here. That's the third stage. We move here. We are moving now here. Which number do we have? That is the last number coming. Okay? 15. Okay? So it's the last number. Okay? They can say one. Okay? The last number. Now, and you might think, because they're showing you about this, that last number counted. Okay? The last number that they counted is in the set. Okay? So it's 10. So 10 moving to the Okay? Now inside the set. Okay? The set number. Okay? From here. From, from the set. Is it here? So it's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Last number is 15. Okay? Now we are moving to what? 16. And it's here. I think don't teach first because they can start here. They can say 16, 17. Is it clear? Okay. Yes. So you put a bucket there. So always give some space here. And let it come. Is it okay? So it's 60, 17. That's the last number. What was the last number? 17. Equal what? 7. This is not 18 because there is no any other number. Is it, is it clear? Yes. So this is stage. This is stage. Okay? That's stage G. Okay? It's two stage G because you come from here. This is now stage E, okay? And this is now stage F, the answer, which is now the answer. Have you, have you worked out the process? Do you think you learn the less difficulties in understanding this? No. <laughs> okay? So, that is how they would teach it, okay? Then with that one, how would you teach it? You have to do the same thing. Okay, the placing of the unit with the, with the order of the number. Okay, and then sometimes with them. Okay, this one you can also do it this way. You put them to line up. Okay, zero. Okay, it's nothing. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here there's two. Now this is the list. Okay, one, two. Equals one. 
They count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. If I So and this is a message the process of my
the day you do this behavior. Okay? Yeah. Okay? So it's 14. Okay? Who's the game? Who's the 14 here? For the time? It's 14. But it's really like that. No. Yes. Okay? So our number is 14. So this is unique. You now she gave it. Right? Can you now see that we moved from the same type of position? We were so heavy over. Yeah. Yes. Heavy over.
Thank you. 
make sure they are able to know one, two, three, four, five, up to twelve. Yes. Yeah. Then they can count back if twelve, you let them. Can you not do the line? Number line. Yeah. 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 That's how I apply it. Yeah. 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 It just seems I think it's not like I could do it.
Put the vegetable out of your wall. Oh, he's coming. Yeah, he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Next time in a lecture, I see those three candidates, the light is that you can see them on the other side. Yes. Yes, it's 143. It's 143. Yeah. Okay. The last one. It's 8,000. So you, are you understanding the steps also? Yes. So you teach, you teach now, you teach as you do this, do this, then move to 10. You don't start off with big numbers, but you start off with single units. Mm. So 5 and 6. In fact, you don't start off with, you don't start off with numbers that you make 10. You get 5 plus 2 is 2, 1 is 2. Okay, 5 plus uh, 4 is 2 single digits. Yes. So you start off with that. Okay, I think 14. Okay? Then when they master all that, then you move to anything that is or two digits. So you start off with adding a single deposit, adding a single digit there, and the answer that gives a single digit. Then you move to adding of two digits, or even a single digit, but that gives an answer of two digits. Are you understanding? Yes. So five plus six will now give two digit answer. Okay? Then you move to two digits. Okay? Are you understanding? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's the question. Okay.